All right, I've just replaced the fuel filter in the car. Uh, mileage is 107,815. As you can see, that's the old filter contents from uh, the fuel filter housing, which is very, very black. Now, rather than fill the um, fill the filter housing with uh, diesel, what I'm going to do is do it via VCDS. So what we do is we log in with the engine control module. Go into the engine. Go to basic settings, and from the options down, the options down here in the bottom, we go down. We choose fuel pump supply activation. Gives us a message. Fuel temperature currently 9 degrees Celsius. Current temperature G62. Fuel pump state is that. So we're going to click on on and run it for about 30 seconds to refill the pot. And you hear the pump running in the back now. You got the light flashing on the dash. Going to let that run through. You can actually hear it filling up the pot now. That's quite cool. Currently filling up the pot. And the relay has gone off, so that should be done now. So we click on off. Let's run. We'll just run it for another 30 seconds again. 3 1000, 4 1000, 5 1000, 6 1000, 7 1000, 8 1000, 9 1000, 10 1000, 1000, 12 1000, 13 1000, 14 1000, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now that should be enough to start the car. So it's in neutral. We'll start the engine. We'll just let it idle for a couple of minutes. And also the next thing I've got to do is replace the coolant temperature sensor because uh, the coolant temperature sensor has a dodgy value actually we'll be able to read in uh, this so we go at the pump voltage the pump is registering 14 volts so we'll click on done go back close and now we're going to the fault codes for the engine I did actually have to change the battery on this as well so you can see I've got to do a glow plug um, the current temperature sensor G62, so we'll click on done go back, and that's successfully replaced.